Hey guys, working on a 2018 Nissan Rogue. This is the Sport SV with all-wheel drive, just because this is the rear brakes. Um, I have the car lifted up by the differential. I have the jack stand on the pinch well right there. Um, these bolts are 21 millimeters. Break them on the ground, lift and support the vehicle, then remove the wheels. Now, we can get started here, okay? First thing to do is we're going to remove this and this. This is to hold the caliper on. These are 14 mils. All right, it's kind of a tight fit. So one of my favorite tools in this situation is a wrench extender. Um, put it on here like this. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. The bolt is not facing you. So here, get it on and crack it. Same thing for both sides. Now. It, it runs into the uh, the brake hose, which is one of the dumbest designs I have ever seen. <clears throat> there we go. Shit. Right here. This rubber tip is on the bottom, so... Oh, I'm going to keep that there for right now. Put this somewhere. What I like to do here is I like to um, crack open this bleeder, this, this uh, bleeder valve. Just is a good idea to do it so rust doesn't build up. Another thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to get rid of the old fluid so the car can introduce new fluid. You know better quality better quality brake fluid better brake feel better performance so i got a one man bleeder right here with a straw i mean with the hose for the fluid it is an eight mil to break it like i said this part you don't have to do but another thing too is a lot of these modern cars don't like they don't like brake fluid going back into the abs module so that's another thing to think about but with that, I'm going to go here, stick it right in here, and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just squeeze this back. And as I'm squeezing this back, all that fluid is going into the lines and filling up my hose. And then with that being said now, I'm going to just snug this back down so that no air gets introduced. And just like that, this has been pushed back. Nice. All right, so I'm going to put this to the side for right now. Right there. Next up, these are 17 mils. With my wrench extender, like this. Pop it up. Same here. Pop it up. Don't forget these little boots. That's two boots. All right. Pop that out. Now, this is not moving, and we don't have any rotor studs. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it out. Just like that. Good. Get a wire brush right here. Clean up that hub. coating of NICs right here so that the new rotor and the wheel don't freeze to the hub anymore with your new rotor take it out spray it clean paper towel wipe it down mount it up like 
like that. Good idea to get one of these lug nuts right here and hold it in place. Pop these little pads out. Pop that out. them out. Wire brush. It's one. It's two. Good. Now I like to get a small amount of copper anti-seas. And just one here, a little bit there, here, here. Okay, then notice I'm getting rid of all that excess. Just like that. And here. In here, and then just gonna wipe off any extra. Here we go. All right, now that's the correct clips. So, stuff on the back, new clips. Let's get this in. Bolts right here. <clears throat> Good. And that's it. Get a small amount of copper NICs right here too. Very small amount. That's one. Another one right here is two. Okay, just like that. Remember, less is more. And the side goes in right here. This one. And the squealer goes on the inside. Nice. Cool. Clean that up. I'm going to use something called Loctite. It's uh, like a glue that goes here and here on the ears. And it'll basically like bond, like hold on to the anti squeal shim to help reduce any vibrations. Just going to go right here and right here. Boom and boom like that. Gonna get some silicone paste right here. And I'm going to be a little bit generous with this. But just kind of goop that up with silicone. And then we're going to have to kind of force it again. Okay, now we're just going to kind of force that like that. Like so. Here we go. Ok, 
Okay, that's one. It. And in here as well. Oh, good. Perfect. Don't forget your uh, cutout right here. Goes right here. And this is for your brake shoe adjuster. You're all done. Thanks for watching, you guys. Till next time, out.